Let's talk about these gun laws in Florida with criminal defense attorney Roger Foley. Mr. Foley, thank you so much. And I know your heart is, uh, uh, as a, a Floridian, your, your heart is heavy uh, knowing that 60, 17 people have lost their lives, among them young people, children, by all accounts. Here's what is, is I think, stymieing a lot of people is that this young man, and granted, the details we have at this point are slim, but he cleared an instant background check through the FBI's criminal database, but yet we know that he was posting all of this disturbing content online, even saying in his own words that he wanted to kill people, showing pictures of him masked with guns and with different arms. It, it, I mean, many people are saying this is t it's time to have more stringent background checks. What do you say to that? that that's correct. That's correct, Michaela. There's, you know, there, there's been all kinds of information about social media posts and, and uh, acts of violence where he's been talking about committing acts of violence. Um, and right now, there's no checks uh, for that. The, the FDLE checks, the basic background checks that are involved in purchasing a gun in Florida um, are very simplified. They're, is the person a convicted felon? Do they have a conviction for a misdemeanor domestic violence case? Um, do they have any known mental illnesses? But again, mental illness is an individual thing. So you have things like HIPAA. How, how do we how do we pass that um, so we can share information amongst amongst individuals to, to figure mm -hmm. out if there's a, a young man who's going through something in school? How, how do we do that? So you know, lawmakers, legislators need to talk about ways to do it instead of just saying. You know, the, there's the, the one side of the aisle saying, hey, we, we, we don't need to retract gun laws. And the other saying we do. We, we need to figure out a way to work together because tragedies like this can continue to happen. I mean, this is horrific. It, it, it's, it's, be, it's beyond everybody horrific. Everybody is and, not and only in Florida. No, you're, you're absolutely right. We're out here in California, and there's heavy, heavy hearts here, let me tell you. Um, the president, the former President Obama, even saying, legislative action on gun laws and gun control is long overdue. I ask this every single time we have to report on a school shooting. Do you think this time it's enough? Do you think this time will mark a turning point for the nation? You know, it, it's definitely something because it because it's such a horrific tragedy because so many young lives are involved. I, I'd like to think that it opens up the door, the doors for, for people to communicate to start do I think it's instantly going to make a change? I don't know, Michaela. But what I do think is that it's going to open up doors and, and more people. More people are upset. This continues to happen. We had the Orlando shootings, you know, not too long ago. We, we've had, you know, I, I've, I think I heard over 10 different shootings in schools throughout the country. Uh, just be, you know, we're only in the month of February. Um, it, it's a tough time, but legislators have to talk. Uh, legislators have to talk. School uh, affiliates need to talk. Everybody needs to, to start to communicate rather than s just sticking to their firm stance. If we don't communicate, we can't make change. And if we can't make change, we're going to continue to see these, these horrific things occur. And, and everyone points the finger the other way, yeah. and, and we can't keep doing that. We can't keep doing that, not while babies are dying like this, you know. And, and it makes you wonder how we're seen by the rest of the world. America, the land of the free and, and the land of gun violence. Uh, it, it is a shameful reputation that we have. Roger Foley, uh, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it.